Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome to Avorian. Avorian is one of those sandbox games that can be quite intimidating because, well, it's a sandbox game. It has almost no limitations, so where do you begin? In this short series of tutorials, I'll be explaining how to get going and how to do various elements of the game. Um, the emphasis here on how you can do various things. There are so many different things and so many different ways that you can approach Avorian that this is just one of the ways. But in case you're feeling a little lost, I hope that these videos will help you. This video first video is about how to build your first ship. I'm going to assume for this video that you already have mined a bit of resources. In this case, I have 1337 iron and a bit of titanium, and that's enough to get going. Because what the game has also given you is a little bit of equipment. You got a couple of iron mining turrets, and you have a double chain gun turret. What I would recommend, especially if you're newer to the game, is to start with iron mining turrets and to just progress towards fighting later. Don't start fighting early. In order to found your first ship, you hold shift. That unlocks your cursor and you click over here on found ship. This is going to cost you 500 iron. So make sure you have at least more than 500 iron because you're going to have to pay 500 iron to found it. And then you still want to build your ship. So I need a name for this ship. This is just going to be ship one. You get a bit of crew included. And depending on how big you want to make your first ship, with the resources that I have now, I cannot go very big. Eight crew members is enough. You hit OK. And then you start out with, well, nothing. It says, oh no, your acceleration is low. You need to build more engines. And that's what I'm going to do. So I press B and I go into the editor. Now this is the first and only block that the ship currently has. If you middle mouse click it, you can see that it is an iron hull. The iron hull doesn't really do much beyond providing you hit points. What I want to do with this ship is make sure that I can use it as a way to start mining more resources. If you press G, so golf, it's going to open up the blocks. These are the blocks menus that you can use. The first bit you have is iron and the next bit they have is titanium. Then comes neonite, trinium, zanian, Organite, and finally, Avorian. The more high tier you get, the more blocks get unlocked. So as you can see over here, there's a lot that's grayed out in iron, whereas some of those blocks, like the integrity field generator, the shield generator, or sorry, not the shield generator, but the, the titanium generator, energy containers, I don't have any of those in the iron tier. And that's why I would recommend that for your sh first ship, you have mined at least a little bit of titanium. Right now, I'm going to need a few things. If I want to be mining, and I'm going to be using the standard mining lasers, I don't really need a cargo bay. But I do need a place where my crew can stay. So the first thing I'm going to do is build a crew quarters. And in fact, I'm going to replace the block that I have right now with the crew quarters. If you hold Alt and then left click, you can see that my standard block has now turned into a block that is a crew quarters. Now, the crew quarters does not need to be um, on the outside of the ship. It can be as deep inside of your ship as you want it. There do seem to be some sort of windows on the outside, but if your crew cannot look outside, they're not going to get demoralized or anything. So build it as you own, uh, well, as you desire. The next thing I'm going to do is have a look at what I have over here. Acceleration, deceleration, maximum velocity, yaw, pitch, and roll. I want all of these factors to be in the green so that I can move forward, I can slow down, I can turn left and right, I can turn up and down, and I can roll my ship. Also important to note, the required energy, the generated energy, and the storable energy. Storable energy, at least with a very early mining ship, is the least of your worries, so don't pay too much attention to that. What you can also see up here is the crew. I can now have 16 crew members. So keep this in mind as your ship grows bigger, because you might need to add more crew quarters. All right, first things first, I need to be able to go forward. I'm going to put an iron engine on here. If you have a block, you can then use by holding A to make it wider. You can hold S to make it taller. And you can hold D to make it longer. What happened initially was that I had a block which was quite small. If you look at a block and you hold shift and then you click, or at least holding shift is enough, that's gonna make the block the same size. Now what I could also want is to have engines on both sides of my ship. 
Ideally, I want to have those perfectly mirrored. And you can either do that by hitting the mirrors over here and enabling the X mirror, or as the game indicates here, by clicking, or rather the, the hotkey for that is left shift and X. That opens up this field in the middle, and that's how I'm going to split my engines. So in this case, I could have an engine over here, and the game automatically mirrors it to the right. I'm going to make these quite flat. So hold A, make it a bit flatter, and hold Shift so they are the same size. If I now click, the game then says, okay, we now have acceleration, so I can move forwards. I have a maximum speed of 163 meters per second. We're going to have a bit of a problem with slowing down, though, because that's something that the ship just doesn't do. It does not have any way to reverse. It also doesn't have any way to yaw, pitch, and roll. <clears throat> now, you can do all of these things at the same time, or you can do them one at a time, depending on how you want to play this. If you want to do them all at the same time, you need to get a thruster block. Adding a thruster block is going to allow you to uh, apply thrust in any given direction, even directions which seem to be blocked off. So in a situation like this, it looks like the crew quarters is obstructing the thrust that's going towards the back of the ship. But it's not. In uh, Space Engineers, for example, this would be the case, and you would be damaging your own craft, but in Avorian, you're not, so you're fine. What you can also see is when I click Deploy the Block, I now have a maximum velocity, I have deceleration, but it's only 5.8 meters per second, so I accelerate 40 times faster than I decelerate. I can yaw, I can pitch, and I can roll. If you, or sorry, I cannot roll yet, because I only have um, one thruster. <clears throat> if I remove this thruster by middle mouse clicking on it and clicking or pressing delete on the keyboard, and then instead add two thrusters, I can now roll. And that's because this thruster can be applying force upwards, and this thruster can be applying force downwards. It might sound weird, but this could very well be your first ship. Because if you press B again, and you leave the editor, I can actually use this ship to move around. I can roll, or sorry, I can uh, move left and right by uh, pressing A and D. It's not fast, but it works. I can move forwards, and you can see that it speeds up quite well. But it doesn't slow down very well. I can even go backwards if I want to, by holding S. But that is the same acceleration or, well, the same reversing speed as my deceleration. Because that's the thruster that I have on the front. The thrusters that you can now see firing. Those two little things coming at the front. I can also use roll, and I can use up and down thrust. Now, the ship is going to handle a little unpredictably. So I want to make it a little different. The alternative way that you can use these things is by using the directional thrusters. <clears throat> these things only output thrust in two directions. You can see them indicated by the yellow outputs. So one's going to push towards the front, one's going to push towards the stern, or towards the back. If I do it like this, I suddenly have a ton of deceleration, but I lost my ability to pitch and roll. So what happens if I do this is that I'm able to speed up pretty quick, I'm also able to slow down very quickly, but because my thrusters only push me in that direction or in that direction, I cannot roll. And I cannot yaw. So these things, or sorry, I cannot uh, pitch and I cannot roll. <clears throat> I can yaw. I can move left and right thanks to the thrusters here. So what I can do is make sure I have a few more thrusters. And I'm going to put those here as well. But I'm going to ro rotate those. And you do that by holding R and clicking any of these directional wheels. This one's going to spin it like this, this one's going to spin it like that, and this one's going to spin it like that. What I want is thrusters to be pushing upwards and downwards. And by doing this, I can now also roll. So I can actually start rolling the ship. That's the, the keys of Z and X. What I cannot quite do is pitch. I cannot move the ship upwards or downwards. If I try to move my mouse cursor up, normally the ship would try and orient itself in the direction that you're looking at, but it doesn't, because it can't. 
What you can do to counter that is to put one thruster over here. Um, so far as it's quite far forward. Because right now it still doesn't do anything. An alternative way is to use the gyro block. And that's something else I wanted to point out. The gyro array. Keep in mind that these things do take up a fair amount of power. But they allow you to, depending on which uh, direction you have the gyro set up in, allow you to add more pitch, roll, or yaw. In this case, I don't need more uh, yaw, I don't need more roll, so I need pitch. And if I build the block over here, I can now pitch. So I can now move my ship up and down. It's very slow though, because that yaw thing does not have a lot of power. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. I'm going to add that as the same size here as the crew quarters. And now I can pretty reliably and pretty safely yaw my ship up, down, roll it left, right, turn it, spin it, do anything I want. I can speed up, I can slow down pretty quick. And now all I need to do is add a couple of turrets. Because I want to be mining. And if you press T, it's going to bring up your turret menu. Alternatively, you can click here. I'm going to select both of my iron mining turrets. I'm going to set those up over here. Since these mining turrets immediately add any mined material to resources, as it says down in the tooltip, refine stone into resources, I do not need a cargo bay. If later in the game you're going to use mining turrets which says mining R, those will need a, um, a cargo bay, otherwise you will just completely lose the resource. What I now also have is a requirement for miners. Without miners, these things simply refuse to fire. Normally left clicking would allow me to fire these things and use them to mine something, but not yet. So what I need to do is make sure that the crew is distributed to the right positions on the ship. If you press P, <clears throat> either in space or in the editor, you can bring up your ship menu. <clears throat> and over here you can see all the stats of your ship. Some of the stats we've already seen over here on the right, some of the stats we haven't quite seen yet. Like for example, the amount of crew, the torpedo space, the armed slots and unarmed slots, and stuff like cargo hold and uh, hangar space, because I don't have either of those. What I want to do now is distribute the crew to the right positions. You can do this either manually by hitting the plus icon over here, and that's gonna take one crewman and assign them as a miner. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that manually, you can also hit the auto assign button here and that'll automatically put the crew in the right place. And it's going to figure out how many miners you need and where you need them. And that will allow you to uh, immediately start mining. So if I left click now, I'm actually mining. So now what I can do is fly over here and I can easily start mining a lot faster. This is going to allow you to create a bigger ship and then you start to mine more resources and you get a bigger ship. And that is Avorian. You can just keep growing your ship any way you like. Now, initially, don't go for aesthetics. That's not important. I know that you might want your ship to be pretty, but early on, I would not recommend that as a priority. Early on, focus on getting more resources so you can start growing, so you can start experimenting. If you do want to really go for aesthetics, you can do that by looking not at the iron hull, but the iron blank hull. And the iron blank hull will allow you to use all these different shapes and forms from your hull. And with that, you can change the look and feel of your ship. Now, there is no real uh, design benefit to this. So there is not like, I'm gonna be speedier if I have a nose on the ship, because there's no going to be any resistance in space anyway. You're not building a ship that's hydrodynamic or you're not building a plane that's aerodynamic it doesn't give you any benefit or any benefits or any bonuses so it's mostly purely for your own satisfaction so first get a crew quarters make sure you have a way to provide forward thrust with iron engines uh, later on you can go for different types of engines like the titanium engines these things are a little lighter they also provide slightly more acceleration, but beyond that, don't really do much. Make sure you have a way to start going left and right, the way that you can roll, 
the way you can pitch and yaw and once you have all that and a good deceleration because don't underestimate the deceleration ability if you do you're going to find yourself crashing into stuff a lot more than you might like then you have your basic ship and that's where i'm going to conclude this tutorial because you can keep talking about this but i just wanted to point out the basics so now you can go ahead and build your own type of ship design what you want you're going to make mistakes you're going to find that stuff doesn't work but it's a sandbox game so you can always go back you can always adjust the ship and you can always find a way to make it prettier better more powerful a better miner maybe a better cargo bay whatever you want it to do go out there have fun and if you have any questions let me know down below in the comments